Seeing this too, quite a light show overnight. Check out that lightning. This from a viewer who sent in these strikes over Austin. And Sunday storms also caused a close call for people. In one case, a pair of fishermen. In another, some folks who were paddle boarding. KXAN's Candy Rodriguez is live from Lady Bird Lake in Austin, where first responders had a lot of work. Good morning, Candy. Tom, good morning. And the good news here is, as far as we know, no one was injured. But yes, dozens of folks found themselves stuck in a hailstorm here on Lady Bird Lake last night. And for those folks, this area underneath the South First Street Bridge really came in handy. And I'll tell you why here in a minute. But first, I want to tell you about the water rescue in East Austin involving those two fishermen. The rescue wrapped up around 3 this morning and happened in East Austin near Austin's Colony Neighborhood Park. It took at least two dozen Austin firefighters over an hour to get to two men reports say were fishing on an island near Crownover Street and Caleb Drive. Austin Travis County EMS had to deploy rescue boats to help with the search. The men were stuck, surrounded by high moving water. Thankfully, first responders were able to find them after pinging one of the fishermen's cell phones. Then around 6.30 Sunday evening, here at Lady Bird Lake, several people got stranded Austin Fire says around 20 to 30 kayakers and paddleboarders took cover underneath the bridge I just showed you to avoid the storm, and many had to get picked up and taken back to the docks, including these women. It was super yes. scary. Yeah. It was very so unexpected. Yeah. Well, yeah. All kind of. Sudden. <laughs> thing is, we're all safe and sound, and we're yeah. very, very thankful for our first responders for coming and getting us, and getting us to safe to shore. Absolutely, yeah. And yes, thankfully, they are safe this morning, as you just heard those women say. But with more rain in the forecast later tonight, as you heard Rich tell us, Tom, these folks were in the water. But something that I think is very important to mention, and we say this all the time, and I know it sounds repetitive, but turn around, don't drown, simple words that can truly save a life. All right, Candy Rodriguez for us this morning. Thank you, Candy. And right now, there are 40 low water crossings closed in our area. The red dots that you see there are the spots you want to avoid. Most of them are in Hayes County. We've got a link where you can zoom in on them, see exactly where they are if they're in your neighborhood. That's on our website. Just click on the traffic tab.